I came to Australia for four things. The football, kangaroos, koalas, and fruit chocks. As a fruit choc lover, there is an Appreciation Society official oath, so I suppose I better read that, hang on. As a member of the Fruit Chocs Appreciation Society, I hereby solemnly pledge to enjoy the amazing taste of fruit chocs every opportunity, which I do, at the movies, the footy, the barbecue with friends, or even just a sneaky few on the couch at home, I do. I promise to spread the word of their deliciousness and never stray far from the path of chocolatey coated goodness. I feel I've done a lot of that already. There you go, I've uh, pledged allegiance. As soon as we get into this place, brand new. There you go, violet crumble raspberry. Fruit rock strawberry. They will be going straight in the bag. There are so many that we haven't tried, so the taste testing at the end of this video will be quite long. Could they do seconds as well? So ones that don't quite make the cut. There are so many different foods in here that we have not tried, plus uh, things like t-shirts. This might be expensive today. Um, walls and walls of fruit chocs, violet crumbles, all their other different little bits. Hang on. Easter bunny. I think we should get this one. I think this one's the best because it's got literally everything It's got in. what's in there. Yeah. So it's got quite a lot. And, and some things we haven't tried as well. We will have to get even more though. Right, I'll get that doesn't have everything. Stick that in the bag. It doesn't really fit. Right, let's see what else we can get. How about some white fruit chocs in the bag. Milk chocolate strawberry. Milk chocolate strawberry in the bag, violet crumble, in the bag, violet crumble raspberry twist, ah, oh, I missed on the, floor. That. on the floor, well, might as well get two pairs of fruit choc socks, there you go Chaz, catch, got it, fruit chocs hat, I'll get one of them, violet crumble caramel, in the bag, and to finish off the shopping spree, let's buy Mr. Fruit Choc and that can go up in my cabinet back at home. So what's awesome about here is they actually have the factory in the back of the shop. Yeah. Like that. Like, I can't really see. Ready? Come on, then. Lay down. 
Take a picture. Yep, done. 106 dollars we spent i spent in the men's shop uh we're going to show you everything we got and when we get home it's back to england we'll do a taste testing of all the ones we haven't tried we don't want to open the packets and have them in the hold in our luggage it will be a little bit tricky so we'll do that when we get home but i want to show you what we got for 106 dollars okay so i'll show you first Okay. Now, this is going to be like Blue Peter, if anyone knows what Blue Peter is in the UK. So, I did get myself some Fruit Chocs socks. But here's some, hang on, here's some we tried a little bit earlier. There you go. Look at the Fruit Chocs socks. Exciting. So, we got two pairs of socks. One for me and one for me. Uh, Next, hang on, let's hang on, let's do a little tease. Little tease. How does that look? Hang on, it's a bit too low. I love that hat. It looks good, doesn't it? This is a is bobble there hat. An um a lot of Aussies don't know the phrase bobble hat. They would call that a beanie. Yeah, but a beanie for us is without the bobble. Yeah, if you don't have a bobble, that's just a beanie. But um, this is definitely a bobble hat. I don't know how long I can keep it on for though, because it's quite hot in our hotel room. Because as I said, we are in Melbourne now. This is about, we're filming this bit about a week after we went to the shop. Uh, we got finally a bit of free time. So let's carry on. How about? Oh, he's so cute. Mr. Fruchok. Nice little trousers, orange trousers. Nice little, little orange trainers, sneakers. Um, hat up. Cap down or cap up? Down. I think it looks a bit funny when it's up. In the comments, <laughs> let me know. Uh, cap up or cap down? I'll keep them down for now. Uh, I'm going to put them over there. I'm going to get out all the stuff that's in my bag. This is ridiculous, okay? Most of the extra weight that we're taking home is from me. So. Until I go to the shop. For me. This is just the start. The basic, normal milk, chocolate, no, that's, oh, it's dark chocolate. What am I talking about? Dark chocolate fruit chocks. Uh, we've not tried them. Bang. We'll be tasting them. Ooh. White fruit chocks. I love white chocolate. So with the apricot inside, I'm so looking forward to them. We keep going. This is, honestly, we got some free packets. So there's one and a half. There you go, one and a half. Two. Three. You can tell we like the normal four, milk chocolate ones. Five. That can be six, because it's half. Uh, six and a half. Uh, I don't know if I've got, that's it of them. Uh, then we've got the, these are my favorite, the raspberry fruit chocs with the white chocolate. These are the best. So good. One and two. Uh, oh, just another mango. Mango, I love mango as well. Uh, if anyone knows me as well, I love mango. So that's another one. I have tried them. Then we've got something that I haven't tried, and that is... Oh, I'm really excited for these. Chocky snakes, jelly chocks. I don't know, delicious chock covered jelly snakes. How good are these? Amazing. They can go at the front. Uh, that's my bag done. Right. My, my bag. Done. We have got uh, Bumble's dark chocolate honeycomb. Bumble's milk chocolate honeycomb. Is that not just the same as the Violet Crumbles though, or is it more like a crunchy? I'm not sure. We'll have to work out what the difference is. We haven't is. tried them, so they'll be ones we try as well. So we did get a pack of Violet Crumbles, but these are actually for my nan, this packet. We're not having those ones. We're givers, you see. We are givers. I've got to take this hat off. Are you getting a bit warm over there? Um, we got Violet Crumble Caramel to try. Nice. I like caramel. Uh, Violet Crumble Raspberry. Okay. I would say, so when we filmed the first bit of the video, um, they had only just released the Violet Crumble Raspberry literally on the Monday, a few days before. Um, so we've tasted them, but we will taste again to you know, remind our palates. Um, but they are brand new to men's. Pretty cool that we got maybe one of the first tastings. 
so we got some jelly choc raspberry. I'm really excited to try these. I want to know what the difference is between a fruit choc and a jelly choc. Mmm. Interesting. Jelly inside. Next. Come on, come on. Um, we got fruit and nut chocs. Peanut chocs. And sultana chocs. I assume they're just like chocolate raisins. Which you would really like. I love chocolate raisins. I think you're going to like a lot of this. That's definitely one of my five a day. Sort of. Another pack of white chocolate and raspberry. They are my favourite, you see. They, you know, you've got to eat them. They're my favourite. Um, some crown mints. I think my mum will really like What do these. they look like? They just look a little bit like... Um, Extra strong mints? Imperial, is it imperial mints? They don't look like imperial. I can't remember. We've got mints that are like disc shaped. Anyway, mints. Um, then we got some violet crumble bunnies. Oh, so we got a normal one. And a caramel one that I snuck into the basket because I wanted to try the caramel one especially. Okay. And then we also got, oh, the Fruitox Strawberry, which these also came out on the Monday. Yeah, so the, the, the Fruitox Strawberry and the Violet Crumble Raspberry, they are both the two that are brand new to the market and not really, um, not really been tried before. So no. that'll be interesting. Um, I will pretend that we haven't tried them when we went to the shop. Um, no, I think the, thing? the only other thing I got was some recipe cards, which have got a bit battered in the suitcase, for fruit chocolate crackles, fruit chocolate brownies and raspberry and chocolate muffins. Hopefully I can make some things with these fruit chocs as well for us to enjoy when we're at home. If there'll be any left. Um, so, as I said, what ones that we haven't tried? So we haven't tried haven't tried the strawberry fruit chocs uh we haven't tried the white fruit chocs or the dark chocolate fruit chocs we've not tried the bunnies uh we've not the, tried the mints the mints and any then any of these the, yeah all of these ones the sultana the peanut and the fruit and nut ones the jelly chocs uh wickedly delicious raspberry we haven't we'll pretend we haven't tried the raspberry Caramel Crunch. Chalky Snakes we've not Violet tried. Violet Crumble, sorry. Yeah, Chalky Snakes we've not tried. We haven't tried Bumbles. any Bumbles products. No. Um, and then the, the... The Caramel Violet Crumble we've yeah. not tried either. So there's going to be a huge taste testing when we get back home to England. This is going to end up as a whole meal, the amount we've got to try. The problem is, while being out in Australia, we've eaten quite a lot. And I feel fat. Um... There's going to be a lot of extra weight. We've bought two extra holders just so we can take things like this back. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm so happy I actually got to the men's factory uh, and the shop. However, in Adelaide Airport, there is a painting of a fruit choc bag. And I would love it. If anyone can organise getting it for me, amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the little look into the uh, into the men's shop to discover all of the different um, chocolates and mints here uh, and sweets they've got. There's loads in there. So much. It is an awesome shop. Um, but thank you so much for watching. The, uh, the adventure continues. We've got a few more days in Australia if you are watching when the video is released. If you're not, then we might not have any days left in Australia. Look forward to the taste testing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go through chocks. I'll catch you next time.